Hi, my name is Eduardo Canto. And I'm John Liu. We're both first-year medical students at Creighton University School of Medicine. We worked with Dr. Emil Reyes Santiago from the University of Nebraska Medical Center. And for our poster, we chose the topic of allergy syndrome. So allergy syndrome is a fairly rare disease affecting one in every 30,000 newborns. However, it's a disorder that involves multiple organs with different degrees of severity. Even though it has slight variations in presentation between children, one of the most common issues involves the abnormal formation of bile ducts within the liver. So, what exactly are bile ducts? Well, in simple terms, bile ducts are small tubes that transport bile from the liver into the small intestine. This bile needs to be transported here so that we can digest fats and fat-soluble vitamins. So, as you can imagine, a lack of bile ducts in allergy syndrome can result in improper absorption of these vitamins. Additionally, the bile ducts build up in the liver and other organs causing liver damage as well as yellow and itchy skin. As we mentioned earlier, the liver is not only the only organ affected in allergy syndrome. Some of the other common manifestations of the disease include distinct facial features, congenital heart defects, hearing and vision problems, spinal defects, and in some cases, cognitive and developmental delays. In addition to these clinical manifestations, Algeal syndrome is diagnosed using two methods. The first one involves taking a small sample of the liver from the patient and looking at the amount of bile ducts, while the second and least invasive method only requires blood to be used for genetic testing to look for mutations in the JAG1 or NOTCH2 genes. And so the therapies available for patients with allergy syndrome focus on reducing the deposition of bile acids throughout the body using drugs such as Marilixabat, Ursodiol, Rifampin, and Cholestyramine. These in turn help reduce skin yellowing and itchiness. Also, without enough bile in your small bowels, diet supplementation with fat soluble vitamins A, D, E, and K is often needed. Finally, we wrote down some takeaway points, and these can be summarized as follows. First, patients with allergy syndrome should maintain regular appointments with their healthcare providers. Second, Signs such as yellow skin, itchiness, and increased water retention need to be monitored closely, as these may indicate that the disease is progressing. Third, genetic counseling is encouraged since allergies has a strong genetic component. Fourth, avoid contact sports and alcohol if applicable. Finally, remember that allergy syndrome is likely to be diagnosed within the first year of life and has a wide range of presentations from non-threatening to a 10% mortality. Thanks for your attention.